Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Bressingham Steam Museum. We have got um, loads to see, a little bit of a treat for you today if you like steam engines. We've got the uh, narrow gauge railway. Um, also behind me, as you can see, we've got the gallopers. We'll take you on some of the rides and the train. I uh, hope you enjoyed your vlog and see you soon. Here we go folks, gallops are, the gallops have just um, started up. A bit of off-road footage here for you. It's been a long time since I've been here as a child. It's been a, few, a fair few years since I've been to Brescian, folks. <clears throat> well, we'll come back to the gallop a bit later on. See what we can find around here. Fantastic. That one's called Fern Fern Lee. We've got here we got Gwynid. I don't know if I pronounced that right or not, I don't know. Sounds a bit along the wet a bit Welsh to me. <coughs> These engines are awesome. The GER class fifty seventh S fifty six LNER. Ah, LNER, eh? Improved a little bit since then. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful carriage here, folks. Look at this. This is how they used to this is how train travel used to be. Wow. Beautiful. The way to go first. Look at this one. Liverpool Street. Isn't she beautiful? Wow. Wow. Destination board up. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Wish we could get into one of those carriages. Oh, hang on. I wish then my luck come true, folks. Let's get up this one first. Don't think you'd be loaded in them, but... Oh, look at this one. This is a sleeper train, folks. Look at this. Look at that. How cool is that, eh? There's a toilet there, look. <laughs> awesome. Used by the Queen's private secretary, lady in waiting. Charles became Prince of Wales and used this vehicle very frequently. Wow. Amazing. Pretty cool, eh? <coughs> We've got another one here. Yeah. Horse match. Won't let me in. It's locked. It's a shame. This one, folks, is very grand.
We've got a timetable on here, look. Depart Edinburgh at 10 a.m. Wow. This is very, very grand inside this one. This is pretty cool. These are oil trains. Very, very grand. What do you think? We've got here the, the Gallopers, Hosp Gallopers Hospital. How cool is that? <laughs> awesome. And the uh, restoration projects they've been doing here over the years. Marvellous, really. Wow. There's a TV show, um, been recently on Channel 5, um, about Bresleyham. And this, um, this steam powered boat here was featured on it. There's a big old um, uh, Vernon and Guest horizontal mill engine used in sawmill at Boxmere, Hertfordshire to drive 10 saws, a pump, a flywheel, 3.56 metres and 12 foot in diameter. Weighs around 6 tonnes. Wow. That is amazing. Here we go, folks. Look at that. Some lovely locomotives in here. Incredible. I hear the gallop was playing Sweet Caroline. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing. Here we go, look. Here we're doing some of the um, restoration, restoration work here for the, I'm about to say, just about to say trams. <laughs> I live in Blackpool, so yeah, trams on the mind. Some of the steam engines um, that are being um, worked on here, actually pretty cool. You hear in the background the steam engines that are going around. Take your eyes on the ride soon before it gets too busy. Fabulous. There's one going down there now, look. Marvellous. The smell of steam is fantastic. I, I love it, you know. I really absolutely love it. Check out the gallopers. Let's take you on. Well folks, we're on the gallopers now, ready to go. I haven't been on one of these for several years. <laughs> Let's go. See you soon. And we're off folks. How cold is this? Faster. Send it. Ride it like a bad boy. That's quite fast, actually.
Oh, this is so cool, folks, it's so cool. Slow it down now, folks. Well, folks, that was the Gallopers. Hope you enjoyed on the on-ride footage on there. Moving on there, we're going to find a little train ride to take you on. And uh, see you soon. Yeah, we're just waiting to go over, folks, on the narrow gauge uh, railway. And we're off. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty cool. We've done this for a long, long time. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the ride, folks. The beautiful gardens. I hope you enjoyed that um, on ride footage on the train. This one is called Alan Bloom. 
This is the one I just came off, folks. I wish I had smell. I wish I had smelly vision because um, I love the smell of steam. How lovely it is. The old fella's putting some more coal in there. Fantastic. Incidentally, um, Adam Bloom was the uh, was a founder of this. Um, was actually the founder of this uh, um, steam museum, and he actually owns owns all the gardens as well. But, um, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. And try and find another train. Oh, we're throwing another <coughs> another steamboat here, look. This is pretty cool. Look at that. They're marvellous. It really is lovely here. Look at that fire engine. That is so cool. Oh, you laid a climb in it as well. I'll have a piece of that in a minute when that lady's finished. These places, I mean, you just don't know where to turn first. <laughs> it's amazing. There's an old barrel steamroller steam there, look. I might even have to chop this, um, this vlog into two halves, I think. Who out there remembers um, Dad's Army? They've got through Dad's Army exhibitions here. This being one of them. This is one of the um, butcher's vans from the, the TV series. Warmington. Obviously a fictional place where they used to um, back in with Dad's Army. A few Dad's Army fans. Remember the, um, the scene where uh, where Dan's army had to poke their rifles out of those little holes there? That was a good episode, that was. Fantastic. Haha. <laughs> that talking about dad's army folks they got dad's army videos shown all day here in lavender stupid boy that's his scarf there look fantastic captain man wearing Captain Mannering, I should say. Was it the vicar used to call him Captain Main Wearing? Wonder if this works. Can't play for toffees. Haha. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? No kidding, Mr. Hitler. Suffolk County Council. <laughs> This looks like an old funeral cart. It's looked like look like to look like to me. Brilliant. This 
His shell was evacuated and restored by pills from Acor Academy. Look at that then. Old bomb shelter. Anderson shelter, that's right. Yeah. It's what they call them Anderson shelters. You're basically in there. Got your bed. <laughs> awesome, eh? Of course, we've got the um, Jones Home Hood Ham High Class Butchers. I'll take a peek in here. It's Private Jones was uh, part of the Dad's Army crew. Authentic 1940s look and butcher's shop look folks. Can't actually go in here but um I'll stick my camera in here and have a look. Porky pig <laughs> Awesome eh? Jones Butchers Private Jones had a in Dad's Army, if you remember, if, if you can remember Dad's Army, folks. Some of you can, some of you can't. I've got in the post office here, look. How cool is that? Look at that old bike, check that out. Wow. Brilliant. Right, tell me what I'm going to do, folks. I'm, I'm, I have decided to split this into two, into two halves. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the vlog for... This is part end of part one, okay? Um, I'll be doing part two as I go along with film, so I'm gonna leave it here for part one. Please, I hope you enjoyed the uh, part one of this vlog at uh, Bresham Steam Museum. Um, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate your subscribers, new and old. Um, please hit the notification bell, not more, not more than, ugh, spit it out. <laughs> Please hit the notification bell and upload more videos. I'm not going to cut that because I've um, cut too many videos this morning. We can get them right, but anyway. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on part two. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Goodbye.